Hi guys, it's me Teacher Gon. In our today's video, ang gagawin natin is we will do or discuss the greatest common factor o yung mas kilal siya bilang GCF. So sabi dito, GCF, it is simply the largest of the common factors of two or more numbers. So before tayo mag-start at gamitin yung method natin to find your GCF, kailangan muna natin malaman ano nga ba ulit ang factor. Ang factor, those are the numbers we can multiply together to get another number. Let's say for example, meron tayong 12. So, ano yung mga factors na 12? The factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. At bakit? Bakit naging factors ng 12 yung mga numbers na yan? So, try natin. When you multiply 1 and 12, the product is... 12. When you multiply 2 and 6, the product is also 12. 3 times 4, that will give you the product of 12. Ibig sabihin, yung numbers na 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12 are the factors of 12. So, since alam nyo na yung factors, Let's move on. Ano nga ba yung gagawin natin para mahanap yung greatest common factor? Yung method na ituturo ko sa inyo ngayon ay tinatawag nating F method. So basically, paano ba hanapin ng F method if the given are 6 and 12? So, mag-drawin lang tayo ng malaking letter F. Isulat mo rito yung number 6 and then followed by another letter F. Kasi dalawa yung given numbers natin. Okay. So basically, ilista mo rito yung mga factors ng number na to. So for number 6, the factors are, we can multiply 1 times 6. That is 6. Tama? So since we're done with number 1, next natin ay 2. 2 times 3, that will give you 6. Since okay na tayo sa so 1, 2, next natin ay 3. Pero kung mapansin mo, naulit na yung number 3. So, hindi na natin pwedeng ituloy sa number 3. Erase na natin yan. So, the factors na meron tayo ay 1, 2, 3, and 6. Let's move on to number 12. For number 12, start with 1 times 12. And then, you can use 2 times 6. Tama? 3 times 4 at for, ay hindi na rin pwede kasi mauulit. Okay, no, mauulit na siya. So, erase na natin yan. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon, since okay na mga factors natin, pipili natin yung mga common factors. The common factors are 1 and 1 kasi parehas silang merong ganong factor. 2, 2, parehas. 3, parehas din. 6, parehas. So, wala nang iba. Hindi pwede yung 4 kasi wala tayong 4 sa taas. So, ngayon, we have four common factors, pero since ang hanap natin ay greatest common factor, pipiliin nyo dyan yung pinakamataas na factor. And that is 6. Meaning, the greatest common factor of 6 and 12 is 6. Okay? So, ganun lang simple. Let's move on to item number 2. So, item number 2 natin, meron na tayong tatlong given numbers. Ibig sabihin, tatlong F na rin ang drawing natin. So, drawing natin ha. F. We have your 18. Another letter F. Para sa next number natin, which is 24. Oh, hindi pantay. 24. The next number is 48. Medyo mahaba na konti natin solution because we have 3 numbers. So let's start with number 18. That is 1 times 18. Ang 2 pwede ba? Yes. 2 times 9. 3. Mag-work bang 3? 3 times 6. Okay. Ang 4 pwede ba? Hindi pwede ang 4. 5, hindi rin pwede. 6, pag 6, mauulit siya. So, stop tayo sa 6. Okay. 6 
Okay. So let's move on to number 24. So we have basically 1 times 24. So, syempre divisible factor niya ang 2 kasi even number yan. Times 12. Ang 3 ba pwede? Yes. Pwede ang 3 by 8. 3 times 8. 4. Pwede ba? Pwede. Times 6. 5 hindi pwede. How about 6? Pag 6, okay na. Kasi makulit na yung 6 natin dito. Next, 48 tayo. 1 times 48. 2 times 24. Okay? Pwede rin siguro yung 3. 3 times... 16. Tama? 4. Yes, divisible by 4 yan. 4 times 12. 5 hindi pwede. 6. Pwede ba 6? Yes, pwede ang 6. 6 times 8. 7. Hindi pwede ang 7. 8. Kapag ginawa natin yung 8 dito, naulit na siya. Ibig sabihin, stop na tayo dyan. So ngayon, pili na natin yung mga common factors nila. We have here 1. 1. Since sa clean numbers natin, dapat, para, para makonsider natin siyang common factor, kailangan yung number na yan ay nasa tatlong numbers. Or factor siya ng tatlong numbers. So we have 2. Followed by 3. Pwede yung 3. Yes. 4. Though common yung 4 dito, hindi naman siya, wala naman tayong 4 dito. Sa 18. So erase natin yan. How about 6? Pwede yung 6. Yes. Baba. 12, 9, 18, hindi na pwede. Wala rin 8. Kasi walang 8 sa taas. Okay. So, dito, ang greatest common factor, kung mapansin nyo, is 6. Ibig sabihin, the GCF of 12, 24, and 48 is 6. That's it. I hope natutunan nyo yung method natin o yung natin F method kung paano hanapin yung GCF. So, I have here another problem in which you need to find the greatest common factor of 24 and 40. Pero, sa time na to, ang gagawin nyo, I will allow you to answer this one. Para makita ko kung may natutunan kayo within this video. So, yung answer natin dito is i-reveal natin sa next video natin. At ang gagawin nyo po is you will comment down below kung ano yung greatest common factor or answer nyo sa video natin. Okay? I, again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming salamat.